Welcome to SysPro Tips from Positive Vision. This video will show you how to add a shortcut in a SysPro screen to launch another SysPro screen without having to go back to the program list in SysPro. To do this, we will create a form action. You can use this process to speed up data entry and to ensure that important data is not missed while you're working in SysPro. To get started with creating the form action, first go to the screen that you want to add the shortcut to. In this demonstration, we will use the stock code maintenance screen. Now we're going to go to the replenishment pane and we're going to right click over it to see the menu. I could have chosen any of the panes to put it in, but I picked this one because what I'm going to add is related to replenishment. In that pop-up menu, you're going to go down and click on the insert form action right here. Now when I click on it, it pops out a new action box, and it gives me a little hint as to what it is that I'm going to be needing to type in there. I'm going to show you what we need to enter to make that shortcut work, and then after that, I'm going to show you how to get that information for yourself. Now, it wants me to type in what it should do when I click the shortcut, and we're going to use that tip to guide us. And what it's saying is I need to know what the program name is. Now, it's not as simple as typing in the name at the top of the program screen. So after I demonstrate setting up the shortcut, we're going to go through how to find that program name in SysPro. Assuming that we already have that program name, we would type in the following information, which I have saved into a text file, so you can pause the recording at this point if you need to. So up here, I'm telling you this is the SysPro action format. It has display text, colon, colon, program name, space, percent, field, percent. Now, we're not going to use the field because we don't need it. We are going to be using it as an entry screen, so it's not going to pass any parameters from the screen we're in. So percent, field, percent, we're going to skip completely. Now, as an example of what to enter, I'm going to have my display text in SysPro be the words add cross-reference. So that's what's going to actually show in SysPro. And then I have colon, colon, no spaces in between any of this, and then the program name, which it is P-O-R-P-S-2. Important notes, only use the letters, numbers, and spaces in the display text. You don't want to use symbols. And remember that percent field percent is optional. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to highlight this and copy it. Minimize this. I'm going to go back here, do my right click again, insert form action, and then I'm going to paste it here. When I'm done putting that data in, I have to hit the enter key. And what it did was it popped out a shortcut right here. Now when I click it, now you can see that we have that shortcut working. The last thing I need to do is I need to close this screen so that it saves the changes that I've just made. I'm actually going to switch companies to be sure. So go ahead and choose switch company and I'm going to log back in. Now I can go back to my stock code screen and I can enter in any stock code that I want to start with. So I'm putting this one in from scratch. And as I'm putting it in, I can also choose that I want to add a cross-reference. Now, keep in mind that you would have to save the stock code before you could save the cross-reference. So there are some steps involved in this. But the nice thing is I didn't have to bounce out to go and get it from my menus or look it up. Now that you know how to fill in the form action command, let's go over how to find that information that we needed. Going back to the main SysPro program list, I've got program descriptions, but that's not really what it's looking for. What it wants is an actual program ID. So to see this, I have to right click up here to be able to get to my field chooser. Now that I've chosen to get to my field chooser, I'm going to go ahead and click on program and I'm going to drag it and drop it right here. Close the field chooser. Right now I'm not seeing anything because these are just folders. However, if I hit Control F for find, I can now filter to search for that cross-reference. 
These are the modules, and I know that it's over in purchasing. There's my supplier stock cross-reference. So if I expand this out, you can see here's the name, but here's that program identifier it's looking for, P-O-R-P-S-2. That is how I got the program identifier that I needed for the notepad. I'll just pop that back up again. So this is the description of what I want it to say when I'm looking at it in SysPro. And this is the program it's calling. Thanks so much for watching my recording. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know if there are any tips you would like us to record. If you'd like to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel and blog. And if you ever need help, you can always reach us by phone or by email at www.positivevision.biz. Thanks and have a great day.